down, you know what? Low. No, I need to make this louder, bitch. Girl, drop it ass deep down low, 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 deep remake uh took me like an hour if you haven't seen it check it out this one was a little bit of a challenge and i definitely actually look i don't have fucking absolutely zero clue how these people make this this music i'm literally guessing in every video like i have kind of an idea but i'm most likely wrong so i just want to point that out before we go into the shit okay so for this fucking drop we're using saturated drums volume one Check it out. I noticed that the the drums from the original were really, really punchy, really like distorted and saturated. So this was perfect for this. Um, however, the only thing that we're not using from that pack is this clap, because this clap is coming from my Threat Hy Hybrid Bass Volume 2 uh, sample pack. So first, obviously, I grabbed the vocals from the original. Just chopped them up a little bit. Then I got this kick. And like I told you guys before, it's all about the details. This is the original kick, but as you can see here, it's very short. Once again, I just wanted the punchy part because all of the bass is coming from the main synth. So I've cut the sound here as you can see, but there's a little bit of a fade. And I did that by going here to de-clicking mode and clicking the generic blending mode there, uh, bleeding mode, and that kind of gives a little bit of a nice fade. If you see here, I've slid this slightly, and I mean fucking slightly, to the left, so that, so you get, you get a nice little click. Look, if, if, it, if you didn't get this click, it's like fucking flat and ugly, but with the little click, ah, oh, fucking just sounds so tight. I don't know if it's just me, but it just sounds so good. Then we have a little bit of a, of a thing, and I also lied. This is also from Hybrid Bass Volume 2, because I fucking love them short sweeps. I've actually been working on more uh, in my own songs in these tutorials, so I'll probably be coming out with an update for Hybrid Bass Volume 2 pretty soon, and it'll include more short sweeps. So if you've already purchased the pack, you will receive an update email with those new sounds. Okay. And then we have this sick ass fucking distorted ass Tom thing from, from Saturated Drums. And I already fucked up. Oh shit. All right, hold on. Let me open this thing again. Real quick, real quick. Help. Does anybody know why this happens? So when I load up the track, um, listen to the drop now. It's fucking weird. Like, like what the fuck, you know? But as soon as I, I reopen the patch, so I go here and then I reopen the patch, it goes back to normal. Does anybody know why the fuck that's happening? Anyway, so after we got those uh, little percussion things, then later gets a little bit more complicated with this little percussion thing, which is just another sound from the pack that I pitched up all the way. And I've also added a little bit of reverb on it, as you can see there. And then I've automated the volume to go up, kind of like a sidechain uh, deal. As you can see, Valentino Khan's very meticulous with his percussion and where he decides to add them. He doesn't really overdo it. Like, he doesn't have the toms, like, going all the time. I think that's, you know, totally up to him and his taste. But I think it's very well executed and just good, good shit, you know? <laughs> then we have some fucking uh, cymbals. And then it all comes together at the end for the last part. And that's it. Um, let's get into the sound design. So like I said, I did this really fucking weird, but it came out cool. Here's the notes. Let's turn off all this shit. And this is the original. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> A 
Wow, that sounds terrible. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. This this is the original sound. <laughs> So the first um, thing I did was fuck around for three hours until I found out what, until I came up with this. So I don't exactly remember how I got to here, but I'll explain how the sound is going through every effect and what's happening. Now, the first thing I added was this uh, parametric EQ thing. Wait, hold on. You know what? I'm curious of something. All right, whatever. It actually sounds pretty good, and I don't know if I've ruined it with all the processing that I did, but fuck it, I'm gonna show you what I did. So the first thing I added was the parametric EQ, and it takes off a lot of frequencies that you can, as you can see. Then I added a multiband compressor. So I, I chose uh, a preset, I don't remember which one it was, but you can copy this if you want to. You can see here, what, what's important from here is what I've done here with the low band, the mid band and the high band. You can see I have the mid band really, really high compared, well, a little bit higher compared to the others. Then I have a limiter. Saturating a little, well, now it's saturating something. Um, and then, you know, kind of taming the sound a little bit. Now, after that, it's channeling to two different places, okay? We're going to this place where it's getting a little bit more processing. And then it's going to another channel, which is this distortion channel that's giving it the that like gritty sound that I was looking for. Um, so let's go into first the gritty sound that I was looking for. And then you may be wondering, why didn't I first channel it to more processing and then distortion? It sounded like shit when I did that. So I'm channeling it, I channeled it to them separately. So I'll explain the little distortion channel first, and then I'll explain the more processing. So the little distortion channel is taking the sound you just heard, and it's giving it this little thing. And uh, it's basically taking a peak of, of, uh, of around here, uh, around 200 hertz. And I'm distorting the fucking living shit out of it. And that's kind of giving it that feedback noise thingy that's like cool as fuck, that I thought was cool as fuck. And uh, I've also added this into this folder of FL Studio Mixer Racks. So this will be included for free for anyone that has purchased my new Serum Pats. And then finally, for the more processing part, let me turn off the high pitch noise and turn this on. This is kind of just uh, giving it more bass. So you have this fucking shit. And then on this Serum Effects, you just have an OTT bringing out, bringing in the bass again, you know? And uh, all together sounds like this. All right, finally, this is just a fucking um, sidechain channel. And uh, that's what makes the fucking first bass. Okay, so for this low-pitched one, it's the same sound, but I brought it down an octave, right? So I, I wrote the note a lot lower because originally we're up here. And um, I just... Uh, move the shape of the LFO to this fucking shit that looks like that. Wow, I just realized I didn't go into the sound design of this shit at all. Um, okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> I don't remember how I did this. I did it yesterday. Um, fuck. So, I changed the shape. Originally, the shape looks like this. Look. I really don't want to go into the sound design because to be completely honest with you, I don't remember. I know that I uh, originally uh, had the, uh, look, this is the original patch. You guys seen me do this before where I take a patch from my preset pack and then I create something new with it. This is the original sound. So th this is how we started, okay? And somehow we ended up here, but it is gonna be available in my preset pack. Uh, however, if you wanna pause it and uh, copy all the effects, there you go. It's basically the same shit, look. You got this, and then you got this fucking thing right here. 
All right, that's gonna be it. I think I have some shit on the limiter, but I mean, it's the same shit I add on every video. So if you wanna know, go look at my other videos. <laughs> um, and that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something. Um, I really like this. I think it came up pretty sweet. So Valentino, if you're watching, um, I love you. And I love your music and I love this song and I hope this wasn't too bad. There's an actual possibility for Valentino to see this because I've gotten messages from big producers specifically one really big producer and um i'll i'll fucking tell you guys the news pretty soon um but anyway yeah as always if you would like this flp it is available for all my patreon shout out to you guys for supporting me on there i really really appreciate it don't forget to like the video if you learned something it really helps me out don't forget to subscribe because come on this is a really good fucking remake so anyway thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you on the next 